Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you guys are doing well. Please be mindful. Some of these messages may or may not resonate. Take a fit, leave the rest. Um, yeah, so this is a channel for Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please do hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you hear here. And yeah, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for the rest of July for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. See what the love messages are. Hello, everyone in the chat. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, let's take a look. And if you guys are new, I upload daily readings Sunday through Thursday and I do a weekend reading as well and if there is an extended version to finish off this reading there will be a link in the description box below I'll let you know throughout the reading if we're going to do an extended Virgos let's get into this what are the messages for Virgo Virgo Sun Moon Rising or Venus what does Virgo need to know for the rest of July what are Virgo's messages for the rest of July? Okay. Wow, you have the sword in the rose again, same as yesterday. Clarity, truth, revelation, something coming to light, force, honor, protection, and power. Was that yesterday or maybe the day before? Okay, let's see what else you have here. Okay, you've got the chaser, a chaser in a codependent relationship. Someone's fearful of using, of using, losing you. Okay, fear of abandonment issue. All right, let's see. Okay, and talking, interested, conversing more. An awaited message arrives. Text, a call, an email, possibly hoovering. Somebody's coming in here, Virgo, to communicate with you. Somebody is having a revelation here that. Um, you know, they don't want to lose you. This is what I feel like is going on. This person doesn't want to lose an opportunity with you. Have you met this person? Are you involved with this person? Is this someone that you knew before? Um, it feels like truth, revelation. Somebody has clarity here. And I feel like they're going to come in and try to talk to you. Okay. Uh, get a, You'll be receiving a text or some type of communication from somebody um mm, before the end of the month that's for sure all right let's take a look see what the messages are here let's look at the past situation okay okay hermit mode the hermit <laughs> self-reflection someone in the past the past situation could be another virgo you were connecting with um this is definitely a past some there was withdrawal Okay, a, a, a situation, maybe somebody went ghost or just disappeared or went silent in the past. Let's take a look. Could have been you. Okay, three of cups. Hmm. So there was a past situation where I feel like somebody was either secret, not secretly, but hiding, withdrawal. Maybe they were dating other people or um, they were secretly... I guess I want to say secret. I don't know why secret keeps coming out because if I feel like for you, something felt like a secret, but I don't know that it was. I just feel like somebody was isolated, doing something um, maybe with some others or reuniting, thinking about re having a reunion, thinking about reuniting either with you or some others. It's a strange message here. It, it feels mostly, Virgo, like somebody in the past that a situation in the past where somebody was kind of, okay, they're like, okay, give me a second. I'm getting all these messages. Breathe, breathe. Okay. For some of you, there was someone in the past who withdrew either they were because this is a card of isolation so these are very conflicting messages that's what's so they're telling me that there was a withdrawal from okay okay oh my gosh there was a withdrawal from communicating or reuniting or connecting somebody stopped dating or stopped communicating see the messages are all switching around they're all switching around. This is it. 
somebody pulled back. Now, maybe this was you, Virgo. Okay, but there's an energy. Somebody pulled back from friends, from socializing in the past. Okay, I keep hearing the name Christina. I keep hearing the name Christina. It's very interesting. Okay, maybe that's you, Virgo, or Christopher. But there's somebody, uh, a situation where there was like isolation from communicating with other people, from having any kind of reunion, for connecting, um, from socializing. Somebody wasn't seeking support, just pulling their energy back 100% in the past. Pulling back from friends. All right, let me see what this present message is here. Because, well, actually, they just said pull another card for this past situation. Why was this? What was? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so uh, the energy in the past was a, a sense of loss, a feeling of abandonment, grief, remorse. Somebody just went into hermit mode. Didn't want to communicate with other people, didn't want to date, didn't want to be with friends or be around friends. You might have been dealing with someone who was just very much like an introvert. It could have been you as well. Um, it's just a very introverted energy and a lot of sadness and grief. Feeling abandoned, feeling unloved, a sense of feeling aban abandoned and unloved just went into hermit mode. All right, let me see what the present energy is. Wow, that, that's kind of like somebody withdrew from society or from other people. All right, let me see. Okay, Seven of Swords. Wow. Challenged by the Eight of Cups. That's crazy. Somebody having a hard time walking away from you right now. Okay. I feel like right now there's an energy of there's a situation where somebody wants to run away, sneak away, but they can't. It's real hard for them. And that's what I feel like these messages are up here. You this is a very codependent relationship. Somebody is it's like uh, very co like a people pleaser very codependent or stuck on you in some way i feel like there's a person here could be a virgo where the clarity and the truth coming in here is this person might be have like some element of deception about them sneak away you know not reveal maybe some betrayal but yet at the same time it it's really hard for this person to walk away or to, you know, leave. Really hard for this person to leave. Okay. Maybe this is somebody that you knew who this person was. And I feel like in the past they, they went silent. But they're still showing up here in the present. It's like, I, I don't know if some, Let me see what's driving this reading. Okay. There's like a desire to communicate. There's a desire to talk here. And somebody has a very strong, um, like they're quite smitten with you. There's crush energy, crowning. Okay. Yeah. So this, it's weird how this reading is coming out because usually I look at you, but th this seems to be, this seems to be about another person. Now it could be reversed. So Virgo, let me just say, if you were in a situation in the past where you withdrew or you were sad because somebody was dating other people or they weren't committing to you, I feel like for you there is this desire to communicate with somebody, okay? Like if the opportunity presents itself, you will make that move. You will, you know, go forward with this person. But something here, and I feel like, you know, it's both of you. I feel like right now it's like you both are in – there, there is a codependency to a relationship, which basically tells me that it's very toxic. It's toxic. And I feel like 
both of you want to run away, but it's like real hard to do that. It's real hard to walk away from somebody. And if the opportunity presented itself for both of you, you would face your fears and move forward. There is a very strong desire to communicate. I feel like two people have a strong attachment to each other. And with this page of wands, yeah, that gives me a sense of like having, it just feels like, <laughs> like smitten with each other, like can't let go of each other. Okay, crazy. This is crazy. Let me see what's coming forward in the near future. Oh, wow. There's change coming. The world is here. I feel like Virgo, if this is you, this is like towards the end, going towards the end of July. Um, maybe like the third week of July. This is like it's done. It's it's done. Okay. But there's a shift. Something's shifting. Maybe a goal or a lesson has been learned. There's a shift. Let me let me take a look and see. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's a shift going reversal there's a shift this is like no it's not done it's done the lesson's been learned um but for some of you there's somebody here is coming in from another part of the world <clears throat> because the card is showing me going back in this direction there's this there's this chasing energy. Somebody's coming in very strongly towards you, okay? And I feel like <clears throat> it's it's tough. Let me see what your advice is real quick because I feel like this is more of the energy that's going to be playing out. I feel like there's two people who if, if somebody came in correct or somebody was able to make some changes in their personal life if they if they weren't running away and somebody you know faced their fears and you know communicated with you and was able to you know come in the way that you need them to come in i feel like you would probably hear what this person has to say but the problem with this is that it's still i feel like somebody's coming in with this codependency like like it's going towards the end of july there's this it's got to be finished it's got to be finished yet somebody will not let it go here with the knight of swords somebody will not end something let me see what your advice is here there's hoovering <laughs> there's going to be some communication there's going to be talking what are they going to what's this talk going to be about i just want to say Okay. Hmm. Four of Swords. So there's talk about why they've been silent. And there's also talk about some healing energy here. Wow. Okay. We have the Magician. So we have um, Mercury. So that's Gemini or Virgo. So somebody's definitely coming in here and try to manifest. Somebody's going to put everything out on the table and try to communicate with you they don't want to lose you they have a fear they know that you guys so it's like both of you know that this needs to be done here i feel some of you might have already walked away maybe you went silent and you uh, you might have snuck away in some way or just kind of dipped out with the seven of swords but it's a real challenge for you let me see what your advice is okay you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. Wow. Okay. Your advice here is to, this This. This definitely is somebody that you're, it's somebody that you knew before. And your advice here is to um, keep trying to work on something here. Work on some type of reconciliation. If somebody comes back in trying to manifest, they don't want to lose you. You know, I feel like they're going to come in and, and tell tell you that, um, you know, they took some kind of a break or they were getting their healing in or they needed some rest so they could just try to create to be more focused on the communication here. 
and be more focused, like lay things out on the table, tell you what's going on with them. If you want this person back, of course, bloody stumps, you know, but I feel like your advice here <laughs> is to, you know, I don't normally tell people to, um, <laughs> I don't normally tell people to go back to toxic relationships, but I feel like if, if you get a sense of somebody's coming back in here who is recognizing that they have a codependent issue or they're their people pleaser or they have a hard time um, just being authentic and they have a hard time saying yes or a hard time saying no, um, and they're coming in making some changes because that Four of Swords, that's a healing after heartbreak. This is rest. This is renewal, renewing the spirit and the magician 100% manifesting a new start, having like going on this journey, having a new beginning. Right when I said journey, here's a fool. Okay, this is starting over. So if this is somebody who you haven't let go of or that you still have a heart for, and the only thing that you, um, the only way you would take this person back is if they were willing to have a conversation and actually work things out with you, then you would. But if this was like an extremely, like it, toxic or not, if somebody's coming back in and they're not willing to do that on their part, then obviously, you know, you want to keep it moving. But it feels to me like this person is going to try to communicate and tell you they've had a revelation and they have clarity you know um they don't they have a hard time letting you go you know they they realize the relationship was toxic they want to talk about things um give you some clarity they have an abandonment issue or they feel abandoned maybe you abandoned them or you were forced to or they did it to you let me take a look yeah here they are in this the position of them okay two of cups so this is like this person wants to try to get into a position here with you where you guys can have an understanding okay like a meeting of the minds here between the two of you okay come together have a new romance a new start okay yeah they have a lot and it's mostly yeah nine of swords so it's mostly coming out of their anxiousness and their anxiety about the, their fears that this person does not want to let go at least i mean for them i feel like it's if you told them that you didn't want to have a romantic kind of relationship with them i feel like this person just to satisfy their fears of abandonment will ask if you can just stay friends and try to work through things but you know whatever you decide to do it looks to me like well this is your advice you don't have to take this advice but it, your advice here is to try to reconcile with the past with this person and try to work through things if they're coming in and they and that's something that they want to try to do but you also have to understand um this person coming in to try to work things out with you because they don't want it to end mostly stems from their fear of losing you and you know that's not necessarily a bad thing because if they're willing to manifest and start and have a new beginning yeah a positive new start here then which i feel like there's going to be exposure and there's going to be an opening up here that that's all right <laughs> that's okay let me see what your hopes are oh wow you have the hangman in the reverse okay So, oh, hold on, you guys. So I feel like you're you're hoping that this isn't going to be a poor me victim situation, <laughs> you know. Um, I feel like this might be more along the fear. This not not necessarily your hopes, but I feel like your fear is that this person is not going to be coming in with like a new perspective. I, I kind of feel like some of you are just going to get this sense where, okay, at first it seems like this person is just hoovering or they're, because they don't want to lose you. Maybe they maybe something's not working out for them or didn't work out for them and they're coming back around because they don't want something to end here 
So I feel like there might be some fear for you. Like if you talk to this person again, it's just going to be the same cycle again. And it's totally understandable. I just want to take a look once here at your, any more about your advice. Okay. Wow. That King of Swords shows up all the time, all the time. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> so this is advice two separate things here what i feel like you know yeah this person comes in and you know they're willing to you know try to rehash the past and try to figure out or try to polish the whole thing up or figure out where everything went wrong and try to uh, repair it in some way yes but if not i feel like then your advice is just to completely destroy this situation down to the ground like the tower but also to keep your eyes open because you need to make sure that if this person is coming in if they're coming back because they don't want to lose you because of their fear or if they're coming back because they're really having a revelation which it does feel like they are with the sword and and the rose hmm. it's interesting I, f I feel like this person feels like a real burden they feel like a burden to you they hate that they hate that they burden they don't want to burden you but they they're stuck they're trapped and i feel like you know that here and they're trying to get free, but they struggle. They wanna, they wanna have you, but they struggle with un, a, a sense of feeling not good enough for you, or unworthy for not just you, but anybody. <laughs> it's really sad. It, it feels very sad. This person has a, a very like, they don't feel worthy of anybody, not even of themselves. And that's why I feel like if they weren't able to love themselves or feel worthy, how could they feel that way about you? Uh, how could they love you? If they were incapable of loving themselves, how could they love you? You know, and it's, it's kind of sad, but it's not your problem. You know, I mean, all the love in the world can't make somebody love themselves. No matter how uh, sweet and kind and supportive you may have been, with someone in the past if until they start loving themselves they have nothing to offer and this is how they feel which is why they would settle for anything from you and why this person will keep coming back in into your life in and out of your life you know um oh let me see the outcome here so also Piscean energy is here. We have Leo, there's Scorpio, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, uh, Cap uh, I almost said Capricorn, Taurus. And I think we saw, yeah, okay, that's right. All right, let me see what the outcome is. Okay, wow, <laughs> the King of Wands in the reverse. Oh my gosh, maybe you're dealing with an Aries could be a Sagittarius why is this king of wands in the reverse oh okay this person is just weak for you that's your card right here Virgo that's a Virgo card this person is like a hundred percent weak for you that's that codependent chaser Whatever you want this person to do, they'll do it. Just as long as you would accept them. That's what it feels like. Oh my goodness. They'll give anything. Whatever they are capable of, but they can't... It doesn't feel like this person is capable of giving you everything. Like I said before, because of their struggle to feel like... It's really... It's, it's contrasting. It's, this person's very conflicted in their mind, you know, because I feel like they'll come back in 
and you know just try to have something it feels like false start and try to have something with you and try to open up and, and reveal and tell you they're healing and you know they're trying to get themselves together and they want to put everything out on the table and have this new start but it's like it feels like it's because of their fears of abandonment why it's how does this person feel like what are their true feelings for virgo okay there's you this person is very indirect okay so they have a hard time expressing their emotions or their thoughts or their feelings when it comes to you they're they kind of go around they beat around the bush a little bit They have a lot of mental blocks, but how does this, how does this person, they feel also like you, you don't want to communicate with them right now, that you don't want to talk to them, that you're delaying, either you're delaying talking to them or you're just, they also feel like you're not being truthful, but I don't know that that's true. Okay. Well, they definitely see that you are, oh, okay. <laughs> Well, they, they, they definitely feel like you're a very balanced kind of look at all this pentacle energy, but the queen of pentacles in the reverse, they see, so maybe at one point in the past you were, um, oh, I guess I want to say, maybe dependent. They might've felt that you were very codependent. Yeah. So they see that about you, but they are the same way. And I feel like you know, maybe you weren't that way, maybe they weren't that way, but the two of you together create this very toxic, but something tells them that you are getting more balanced, you are healing. They know this about you, Virgo. They know that you are not in that same toxic energy anymore because you're not chasing, you're not doing anything, and that's causing this person to chase after you. See, this person can't be around you. <laughs> without healing if they can't because i don't see like you are like you're doing this cut off here i don't see that you're i don't know if you're cutting the person out or if you're just cutting out the behaviors but you're not enabling anything from anybody you're not enabling codependent behavior you're you know you're taking yourself out of or you've taken yourself out of the the game that game that toxic relationship behaviors you've got your boundaries up you know <clears throat> and they see that they feel that energy from you they can't just come in with the same old stuff because you're just not you're not dealing with it you're not having it <laughs> how else does this person feel about virgo okay they're conflicted about you. It's like sometimes they think that you are very like in, well, they know that you're not in harmony with them anymore. If this person tries, you know, like if they were to try to come back in with that same codependent energy, they're not going to get the same Virgo that they had before because you've evolved. You've evolved. You've made a lot of changes here in your life. This feels like, um, it's so weird. It just, it feels like you've just ascended in a lot of ways. And it feels like you have feelings for this person or you love this person or you did at one point in the past, but it, you know, you kind of distanced yourself from the behaviors and not necessarily I mean, the, the behaviors come with the person, but you've distanced yourself so that you could get your own healing in, heal any codependent issues or dependency issues you might have had. This person cannot come back in with the same behaviors because you're, you've changed. You're just a different person now. Okay, so deception came out, but it can't show it up in reverse. Okay, so there might have been a false mask kind of situation going on here. Two people with false masks or one person with, with wearing a mask. And the mask is coming off here. 
okay but there's a releasing the ex too that's what i feel like is going on here if this was your ex or somebody you were involved with before um it feels like your your eyes are open you don't have your blinders on anymore with somebody and you're releasing but I am going to go to the extended to, to dive a little bit deeper into this person's energy because I want to see like, you know, are they really coming in true? It does feel like they have a re revelation, but it might just be that they know they're losing you and they don't want to, you know, let go. So if you're interested to see or to find out more about what the energy, how things are going to play out throughout the rest of the year with this person, um, there will be a link below this video. All right, let me just take a look at the love messages here. Okay, in truth, I want to feel a particular way again, but there's a decision. Somebody's making a decision about this connection. What way is this that somebody wants to feel? See, the somebody here feels you feels that you're leaving them behind or you've left them behind. And that's why they're coming back because they miss feeling a particular way or something that you did for them or the way you made them feel. Okay. Play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Okay, well, they miss that aspect of the connection. They're, the good times, I feel there were some good times. I don't feel like it was toxic the entire time. Um, I feel like the the love aspect was but other other than that there was something about the connection that had some very good moments okay and this person wants to tell you how they feel about you okay but you've done work here abundance is flowing to you so Virgo you've been making you know good for you you've been doing good changes this person has some good news that they want to share with you first of all they definitely regret lying to you about something and they do wonder if you're happy without them because I don't think this person's happy without you but it's very hard for them to come forward I feel like they want to and they want to tell you that they've missed you they thought you left or that missed you since you've been gone <clears throat> they f definitely feel like well they'll tell you that like have you left I'll ask you if you've left them for good, if you're on a new journey, you're manifesting new things in your life, or, you know, trying to just have new beginnings. Okay, they have a lot of regret. This person's been with regret the whole time, since before. Remorse for the way they treated you. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know how they treated you. Maybe they were just very distant. They might have had like an avoidant personality issue going on very distant um very melancholy type of energy um this person i do feel like has a tendency to maybe get involved with people but keep like um a little bit of distance from people they don't try to open up too much because they have a lot of um self-worth issues yeah totally a lot of self-worth issues but yet at the same time okay my life is not as together as it seems take time to get to know each other if that's something that you want to do virgo try to rehash it if not just you know go if not just go but boundaries are needed now and and i feel like you you have your boundaries you've learned about your boundaries what you will and won't accept from people um, I think you're definitely going to need it with this person if they try to come in, pull some shade because of their own fears, try to get their needs met without meeting yours. I feel you even though we are apart. So like you are 100% um, <clears throat> like this person must have very deep emotions. I feel like they have, they're very sensitive. They have very deep emotions. Like they can feel your energy even though you're not together. It's like you're, it's like even if you're not there, which I guess you're not, this person like can, it feels like you are. Okay. Apology. Yeah. Definitely coming in with some kind of an apology. Maybe for the way they treated you or the things that they did in the past or how things went. They have some good news though. They're coming in to share with you some positive news. Um, maybe that they've ended something or they've ended some kind of cycle. Um, but they do come in with a heavy burden. 
okay? But it's also a burden's a gift. So they may be coming in with, an, with a gift for you as well. Some of you might be receiving a gift from somebody. Let me take a look at the Chinese signs here. Okay, year of the rooster, year of the ox, year of the pig, year of the tiger, year of the rat, okay, tiger again, year of the goat, year of the dragon, rooster again, double rooster, and year of the snake, okay. This is something, Virgo, I don't know. I mean, I feel like, you know, toxic codependent relationships are tremendously difficult. Because it's kind of like, you you know, it's like when you have um, someone in your life who's like an addict, you know, it, it, you, you can't enable them. And it's almost, it's very hard to be in a relationship with where there's codependency because then there will be um, a manipulation. Uh, somebody, all right, there goes that. Somebody's very insecure. Okay, so we have a Capricorn. Sagittarius. Okay, Virgo here. Oh, okay, Sagittarius is showing up here again. And a couple of charms for you guys. All right, we've got a snowflake. And it looks like an orange. Is it? No, it's got seeds. What the heck is that? What's orange? It has seeds. <laughs> Could be a strawberry, but I've never seen an orange strawberry. There's a fruit, fruit here with seeds, like on the outside. Maybe you're eating some kind of fruit that has seeds, or you, or maybe there's a garden somewhere you're planting. So this is, okay, so they just told me, um, fruit of the spirit. So a good tree will produce fruit and a bad tree will not, right? So I feel like the message here for you, and this feels more of a spiritual message, that it's really important that you look at the fruits of somebody's tree, what are they producing in their life as far as like relationships, right? Um, even bad trees will produce rotten fruit, you know? So you have to take a look at this person's, their fruits in their life and your own, okay? And also there's a snowflake here. So maybe this person was flaky or flaked on you a lot. There could be something to do with um the snowy season, something might be coming up. Maybe there was a nickname, Snowflake. Somebody called somebody Snowflake. But there's something to do here with the winter season or the snowy season. Get a couple more charms here. Okay. All right, weird. So we have um, silver flower and a black onyx flower with a diamond. Okay flowers flowers fruits and flowers fruits and flowers and there's a spider i feel like there's a lot of like <laughs> if, this is so strange this feels like a spider that's kind of like falling down from the ceiling or hanging from a tree Uh, somebody lives on Flower Street, they just said, or somebody's last name is Flower or lives on Flower Street. Let me see. Um, we also have November 18th. Uh, somebody's 53 or 54. Um, and then we have an area code 312. And uh, somebody is 45, 45 years old. He's turning 45 years old, maybe this month. Let's see what other messages you have here. Somebody likes the Marvel, Marvel um, series, watches Marvel series or is watching that. Okay, double Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer. 
Okay. I think we're still in cancer season. And then somebody's 40 to 41. Um, we have October 9th, September 12th, September 4th, um, September 14th. Okay. Um, I'm hearing um, 4112. 4112. And then we have um, 910. And then 401. So I don't know what these numbers, maybe area codes, phone numbers. I'm also seeing August, somebody's 54. <clears throat> and then um, I'm picking up September 19th. Okay. These are interesting messages. I just want to pull one more card for you. As an advice. And I'm going to do the extended, like I said, to go in to see how the rest of this year is the rest of the next six months, so to speak, is going to play out for you with this person deep dive into this energy with this person so the link will be below the video okay what is virgo's advice here okay your advice is the ace of pentacles Stay open to new opportunities, Virgo. Stay open to any new opportunity that comes your way. Pay attention to when an opportunity comes your way. If you're gonna, if you're trying to buy a home or a vehicle, um, that's an opportunity coming towards you. If you have, get some, if there's some, an opportunity to. Get some wise, like some counseling of some sort. That's an opportunity coming your way. Um, some of you have, um, there's a new um, career opportunity coming towards you or some type of contract. See, these are things that you need to stay open to. And I, I don't know if it's in relation to this reading here. But here, when the opportunity comes, make a decision. If the opportunity comes to not return to somebody, make that decision and stick with it. If the opportunity comes to try to repair a past relationship, make that decision and stick with it. Okay? Don't procrastinate or analyze. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward with that. Okay? Um, you have to choose... Okay, there, there's some type of addictive relationship here, which is what codependency is. Okay, um, and I feel like your message here is to be aware of that. All right, pay attention to that. If that's like within yourself or within somebody else, is somebody chasing you because of their own fear? They can't lose you. So people that have like codependent, codependency issues or anxiety um for a fear of loss of a relationship will do anything and everything to hold on to that. And that can sometimes you have to beware if this person is coming in like with good fruit or if they're just manipulating a situation and pay attention to that in yourself and what areas if, if you have you. So there's two places that you can come from. You come from either fear or you come from love. Okay, and understanding yourself if the decisions you make are coming from your heart or if they're coming from your fears. And pay attention if somebody's coming in here from their heart or from their fear. So I'm going to go into the extended. As I said, the link will be below to see what this energy is and how things are going to play out for the rest of the year. All right, you guys. So have a great evening and, or a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, take care.